you and I could not sit here mm -hmm. if we didn't eat fat and protein. We have trillions of membranes. They all have two layers of fat. A lot of the fat we eat goes into making hormones, goes into the sheathing around our nerves and our brain. Uh, fat covers our lungs and our hearts. So a lot of the fat we eat goes into the body. All of the protein we eat goes to make uh, bones, hair, skin, organs. All the body can do with carbohydrate is use it for energy. If we get too much of that, it's got to be turned into fat. That's what makes us fat. Fat doesn't make us fat. If we eat fat, our body burns fat. If we eat carbs and especially the sugars and easily refined carbohydrates, that gets turned into fat and if insulin levels remain high, it gets locked up in our adipose tissue. I think what we need to do is we need to emphasize natural fat, like the fats we ate since the days of George and Martha Washington. In 1910, uh, we consumed about 18 pounds of butter wow. per capita a mm -hmm. year. And I'd hasten to point out that the cows that produced that butter were fed on the pasture. Mm -hmm. This is pasture raised. This is the way they do it in France and Switzerland today. Not in feedlots, not on cement floors. And the, the milk that's produced from cows on pasture is more nu nutritious. Mm -hmm. So we, we need to do that and then we need to uh, you know, eat, eat butter and, and whole milk and cheese made from uh, that type of dairy. So, uh, you know, I, I know sometimes people say, well, we have progress, we can't go back. But I think everyone would agree that, we, that in the, the last century, we have not improved the food supply, mm -hmm. right? But in the last 40 or 50 years, our incidence of chronic disease with obesity, diabetes, heart di uh, disease, heart failure, asthma, uh, are still increasing. In fact, the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta just last year referred to diabetes in children and, and in adults uh, as a runaway train, a runaway train. So how can we stop the runaway train of diabetes? How can we stop slow suffocating heart failure in people living in their golden age? It's to restore uh, our America's traditional high-fat diet